Today we're closing out the book of Psalm with Psalm 148, 49, and 150. And I want to focus specifically on Psalm 150. All three of these psalms are about praise and worship to the Lord. And what a great way to end this amazing book called the book of Psalm with psalms of praise. But listen to what it says, Psalm 150. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary, in his mighty firmament, for his mighty acts, according to his excellent greatness, with the sound of a trumpet, with a lute, a harp, with a timbrel, with dance, with stringed instruments, flutes, loud cymbals, clashing cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. And then it says, praise the Lord. These Psalms kind of speak of this unlimited praise to the Lord. Unlimited praise? Well, because we have an unlimited God. And so it just resounds in a powerful way in these last three Psalms. Every day, every part of life, the Psalm says, praise the Lord, Lord with. And every instrument, it seems that he can name because God is great and God's great all the time. So he says, all the time, praise him. In fact, in this six verses of Psalm 150, it mentions the word praise over 13 times. And so the emphasis, the closing thoughts of the book of Psalms, as we've read through it and looked at all the different ways in which David and Solomon and some unknown writers have responded to the Lord, it ends with this. The Lord is worthy of our praise. In every situation, at any time, with any instrument, unlimited times of praise because we serve a God who's unlimited in all his power and all his strength and all his grace and all his love. So listen to the very final verse. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. So in other words, as long as you live, as long as you have breath, praise the Lord. What a great way to close out the book of Psalm by just saying, hey, come to the Lord and give him praise.